Well, hello everyone. This is Rohit from Practice by Numbers. First of all, Happy New Year. I had promised we would deliver online payment feature by the end of Q4 last year, which we did. We started a beta trial with a couple of our clients. Now I am ready to release this to all of our bundle customers. This video is going to introduce you to the payments feature, which is included in all of your bundle subscriptions. Just let us know, we will turn it on and onboard you. Uh, we are not turning it on automatically for everybody because we wanna make sure we work with every one of you to onboard and make sure your experience with this feature is great. So this is the way it works. Uh, you will see a new tab called Payments. In this tab, we're going to show you how much of your patient AR is outstanding. Here is your patient AR, and out of which, how much is outstanding with claims. So when you first log on, you will not have any of the scheduled under follow-up or follow-up exhausted. The only two categories you're going to have is outstanding with claims and outstanding without claims. Now, there are two ways to use the software. One is using automation. The way that works is you go into settings and you turn on the automation settings. And if you turn on the automation settings, there are a few filters you have to set, and I would recommend a minimum balance of $5, and the maximum is completely up to you. And the last interaction with the practice being 60 to 90 days, I wouldn't do automation for anything longer than that because those patients need to be called. Uh, and the next thing that's very important is don't send automation, meaning automated reminders for paying if their claims are still outstanding. So I would leave the, this one as is. And the other thing that you can modify here is this rate at which we are going to follow up with these patients. By default, it's 7, 14, 21, 28, and 35 days. But you can come in, you can delete this, you can modify it, and you can change the uh, order in which you're going to, or the frequency and the number of times you're going to follow up with these patients. Okay. Okay, so once you come in here and it's all set up, what you will see is under the outstanding tab, you will see all your patients that are outstanding in terms of they owe you money. And by default, we are not going to show you any of the patients that still have pending claims. You can turn that thing on by just checking on this and it's gonna show you which ones of the patients have outstanding claims still. What our system will do is if the automation is turned on, every day morning, it's going to find the patients that fit that criteria. It's going to put those in the schedule tab. Once the patient has been added to the schedule tab, you have six days, or sorry, seven days to come in, either remove this patient from this tab or go in and attach an assignment. And this is super cool because what you can do right here is you can make notes, these notes go to the patients and you can come in here and you can attach, uh, let's say a new statement and you can hit update. Now, when the patient gets a reminder to make the payment, they will see that note and they will also be able to download that statement. And at this point, you can basically turn this patient on to say, I am ready to start this follow-up at this moment. Uh, if you're ready to do it, or our system will automatically start it in six more days, okay? Once the patient is under follow-up, they will get the reminders to make the payment every seven days based on the default settings. And you can update those default settings for it to be less frequent or more frequent. Once the patient has made the payment, the payment will automatically show up under the payments tab. These payments will get automatically posted to your Dentrix or your Open Dental or your EagleSoft practice management system. And the patient will get taken off the under follow-up because their pending balance will go down to zero. If you don't use the automation, you can always come in into the outstanding tab and you can start the follow-ups, either all of them 
are one by one manually, so you can say schedule the follow-up. You still will have the opportunity to go in and update the account note or add a statement into it. Okay. Another way our practices use our software is to send one-time payment requests. And this is really cool as well because this allows you to collect payment before the appointment. So for example, let's say you have a patient coming in. You find that patient and you send that patient a payment request right here payment request is right will be in your message center and you can tell them for upcoming appointment and you can ask them to pay you $80 okay and I will send this request out once this request is sent out the patient receives the request and then the payment is made it will get added to your practice management system. Now, you might ask, what does it look like on the patient side? So let me show you what it looks like on the patient side. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. The patient gets a text message and they have to enter their last name and they have to enter their date of birth. And once they do that, it'll be taken to a screen where they can actually make, uh, they can look at how much is due uh, they can look at the notes that you entered and they can download a statement. Here, they can either pay the total amount or they can pay a partial amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the total amount from here. They can either click on a check payment or they can make a payment using a credit card. One of the things you should notice is that the payment, uh, the convenience fee or the credit card fees are being passed to the patient. And this is very important to understand because in most states, it's okay to pass the convenience fees to the patient. In some states, it's not. Please check and get some legal advice before you use this feature for your practice, okay? Once this payment is made, this can be made on a cell phone or a laptop uh, or a tablet, the payment will come back into the system and it's gonna update the patient's record and the patient will be taken out of this list. Uh, this works really well. We have tried it, we have tested it across many practices. I uh, welcome anybody who wants to start to use this feature. I think in today's age, it makes a lot more sense to allow your, your patients to be able to make these payments online. In the next few weeks, we will also introduce a form that you can actually add to your website where patients can just go to your website and make a payment. But a preferred method is let a request go from your PBN app directly to the patient. So again, this is available for all bundled customers. Uh, let us know and we'll just turn this feature on uh, as people are interested. In the next few months, we'll just automatically turn this on for everybody. The first uh, 100 customers will want to make sure we onboard them one at a time. Okay, all right, thanks everyone. I uh, hope uh, everybody's staying safe and healthy.